this is Blue Heron Tarot. I am excited to do a Virgo read for the week of the 9th to the 15th of November. But this is this can be any week that you've joined in and seen this, like the week ahead of you or whatnot. Um, oh yeah, I'm taking I'm doing the read a little different. I'm very excited about it. So it's just for the week, okay? So it's a little different. Um, yeah, so we're going to do it about you and your person, but what to expect during the week. All right. All right. So let's see what we got. We're just going to start with the romance angels to kind of give you the energy of what's going on between you and your person, the person that you're thinking about Virgo this week. By the way, I do give readings. Um, my schedule's in the description box, um, and I have some as low as $22. Um, so I just wanted to give you an opportunity to come in and do a read because they're really, really fun. They're fun, fun, fun. So check it out if you want, if you feel inspired. If not, just enjoy this read. Or I hope you enjoy this read, Virgo. So you and your person, give us a card, please. An energy of what kind of what to expect with your person. Whoa. Release your ex. Release, it's time, the time has come to clear your energy. Okay, Virgo, you need to release your ex. You need to release the ex. <laughs> Look at all the baggage your ex is giving you. <laughs> Look at all the heavy-weighted love cards. All right, this is you, this is your energy specifically. You both need to release each other probably. Deception. Someone was, is wearing a, a false mask in this relationship. Okay, so one of you guys are like fake, okay? And one of you guys are playful. What is going on, Virgo? Something. Okay. Whoa. Uh, okay. What to expect? What to expect? What to expect? All right, where your person's at here, someone needs to release this relationship. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine. And then there's deception. Why is there deception? And why is there... It's on your side, um, so either you feel deception or you were deceptive. Your person's juggling. Your person's juggling energies. Maybe you. Um, they're coming across um, really cold to you, actually. Like they're not talking to you. Um, Okay, but they do see you as somebody that's, um, they're seeing you as an earth sign, they're seeing you as you, okay? Um, let's see. Why are they, I'm just going to start, let's do your energy and what's going on here because this is, uh, they're seeing you as you, um, for some of you, you're, um, Pretty stable, you do good with business, you're pretty secure financially. Um, for some of you, your person's juggling two energies, but they're coming across cold to you. Okay, and then you have the lover's card. So you see them as your lover, I mean one. Also, it can mean that you have a choice between two lovers. Or you feel like they do, okay? So somebody, I feel like somebody's probably juggling another person with the deception card. Or there's been some untruths here. Um, someone maybe has been playful with another person or just kind of in the playful mode and there's deception. Someone's not telling the truth. Someone's showing one thing but doing another thing. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. Will you see them as working as well? Or you feel like working? I feel like for some of you, you're working and you have other options or there's somebody else you have in mind or you have a choice between this person and another person. They see you as moving really slow in this relationship and they're getting cold on you. I feel like they think you're juggling two people um, or they feel like they're juggling um, the situation. They want something secure. Their feelings for you is they want stability, something secure. But you see them as a divine counterpart or, or a true lover, but you have a choice maybe, a choice to make. Um, maybe it's between them and work. Maybe you're more focused on work. And that's what they're saying is there's just too much work there and they want something more playful. Um, you're not really showing them your true self of, of what your, your true intentions it is. It's time to move on to another cycle. Like really there has to be some kind of change in this relationship. Okay. Yeah. So I think what's, um, let's ask like what kind of unexpected thing could arise this week between the two of you. What unexpected thing could arise? I feel like this relationship move, needs to move to another level and there's just a slow energy. Um, someone, I, you or them are wearing a false mask, unable to move it forward. I feel like there's going to be an unexpected um, energy coming in that's going to bring balance and peace to the situation. Um, you're going to move into a state of balance. What else? What else? What else would be unexpected that would come into this relationship for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. What? Okay. So this is interesting, okay? Take what resonates because this is coming across really weird really weird energy and I don't know who's who so take whatever side you want Virgo because you could very well be this person but what I'm getting just from what's going on in these each side is somebody's going to offer stability and move this relationship to the next level and it's going to be a surprise to the person who's kind of been waiting and I feel like it's this person that's been waiting and you or you know on this side has just been taking it slow focusing on your work and kind of like making a choice of what you want in the meantime you might be like deceiving this person because they might think that you're secure and you're something they want but this person's starting to get cold with you and you I feel like you're going to offer them like a, like another level of stability in this relationship and like that is going to move to another level and this is going to surprise maybe the both of you honestly okay I'm getting a little energy from you that you're still maybe you don't mean it it's just to keep this person happy because but this person this person seems very maybe possibly a little naive Okay, but really sweet and playful and somebody like you don't want to go away. But you seem like, you know, you focus a lot on the work, like maybe. And the roles can be reversed. All right. Um, how can you stay grounded and balanced during this? Like what's the advice for you, especially if you're, I don't know, taking a relationship to another level? You know they're they're like, you know, good for you or you love them or they're a counterpart. They're a soulmate at least, right? They're a lover. For sure. For sure. What's the how do you stay grounded? Or the advice for the for your person. How do they stay grounded through this? Or get clear.
What an interesting situation. What an interesting situation. Interesting. Tell me if this resonates. This is really interesting. Justice and the moon. Whoa. Um, get out of the illusion. There's like a lot of karma going on here. Try not to create any more karma. Okay. Get beyond the illusion, Virgo. Or for either of you. This person needs to see clearly what's going on. And so do you. This could lead to marriage. Okay. Or more karma. Okay. And what I mean by karma is playing out roles. Um, you play them out and you play them out, but you never really learn the lesson or you don't really get rid of karma so much. <clears throat> Sometimes you can. And this is my perspective. Okay. This is how one of the ways I see karma. There's a lot of different ways to see everything really. Um, but <clears throat> let's say in a past life or in your childhood, you never got your needs met from your mom or your dad, right? And so you meet these partners and you want your needs met. You want to feel st stability. You want to get attention, whatever it is. And you play it out in your relationships, okay? it You never heal the past experience of the hurt and the pain and the trauma from your childhood by, you know, making it happen in that relationship because that inner child will always be seeking it because it's not healed. It's a pattern and it becomes an addiction and it kind of runs your life. Um, sometimes you can satisfy it by getting those needs met, okay? And so it's like a karmic completion in some way where you're satisfied. But a lot of times with the ego and the pattern and the pain body and all that thing, all those things, you want something else because you still have the pattern of feeling unsatisfied. But sometimes you get that need met and you realize you're still unsatisfied and you realize there's something more than just getting your inner child or your wounds, the needs of your wounds met. And you see it as all a story in a play that you make up to appease an aspect of yourself that's never satisfied. And that's part of awakening, all right? And so I feel like there's a little bit of that dynamic where this person's really longing for something that's not really available to them from you. And you're, um, I don't know, you know, like there's a deception, like you maybe manipulate to get your needs met and that's something that you needed to do, right? But I feel like if you, if you, do something that you don't really mean to do, you're going to take on a karma, a new karma on you. Their karma is going to be on you. Your karma is going to be on them. And what, what it means is you might get looped more in the illusion and the attachment and the addictive um, false satisfaction, okay? Because this feels not quite balanced, okay? It feels karmic, okay? So I feel like spirit saying, try to figure out the truth, like what I'm saying, the truth behind your intentions. And if you really want to take on any more karma and play more in the illusion, and you can, we all have the right to play in the illusion game and go through what we need to go through until we, we're done and we hit a bottom or we hit, hit a spark, right? I mean, we're all allowed. Okay. No judgment here. Um, an emotion that you will feel this week, an emotion that you will feel this week, Virgo, an emotion you will feel this week, Virgo. Where is my, where are my, son of a gun, oh, there they are, yay. I kind of want to do these cards. An emotion you'll feel this week. Passion. A new start. A pat. Oh, no, that's truth. That's not an emotion. How funny, Virgo. Hopefully you do find your truth, okay? It is root chakra. It's based on um, your thought forms for sure, but it's beginning something new. It's also cutting through to the truth. So maybe you are, it's not really an emotion, but it's um, it's a sense of um, knowing. It's a knowingness. Is that an emotion? Help me out here. An emotion you might feel. And passion to do the right thing, okay? 
and passion to do the right thing. What? So look to spirit. Listen to what spirit has to say. Okay, we'll get a little more advice on that too, I think. All right, so let's see. Something that will um, inspire you this week. Um, something that will inspire you. Let's do these cards for that. It's way, way too much. Something that will inspire you. Something that will inspire you. Water element. Okay. Your person might be a water sign. Um, magic. There's some. Kind, I allow my body, mind, and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes of life. So maybe something that will inspire you is just kind of a state of grace and a knowingness. Um, to flow and embody um, the changes of life. So maybe you do embrace this change. Maybe that's going to surprise you. Um, you're going to definitely be inspired by emotion. Like maybe some emotion will come in. Um, for some of you, you might be inspired literally by water. Um, but yeah, the change, I feel like you do feel inspired by the change, okay? All right, so um, interesting. Okay, let's do what I'm going to do these crazy cards here and just hold your horses, right? For, okay, so what spirit wants to tell you? Queen of water. Okay, this person I feel like is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and they have the this Cancer here. Um, I feel like spirit wants to like, really embody you and speak with you. Um, she wants to give you emotional security. She wants to give you emotional security to open up somehow your heart, okay? And get out of your mind and open up your heart to see if this is something that you want, if your intentions are good. This is somebody you love. This person might be a water sign or a cancer, okay? twice. So this person might inspire you to um, go ahead and 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 um, take the relationship to the next level, okay? Um, emotion and intellect. Yeah, you have to move from, you need to integrate your emotion and your intellect. I feel like it's all an intellectual plan for you quite a bit. Um, this person you love, but it's like, I feel like you don't know for sure and you don't know how to move it to another level so easily in the past because it's just not easy for you to tap into your emotions and feel for sure, like to have that knowing. And spirit wants you to have that knowing, this third eye that also aligns with the heart. Cancer energies to really feel. So you might, spirit's telling you to really move into your heart and feel. And what will inspire you is are those feelings, okay? Moving into your feelings and your heart space. Um, how to best support myself this week? How are you going to support yourself? Let's see. <laughs> Conditioning. Uh, uh, there we go. What does that mean? What does that mean? Why is conditioning there? Celebration. Whoa. I'm getting an interesting. Oh my gosh. Schizophrenia. Moment to moment. What will support you? Celebration and conditioning. Partying. That doesn't make sense. That would not support you. Aloneness. All right. I'm getting, okay. I'm, it's not giving me another card. I feel like I have to get at what I'm just getting, which is interesting is for some of you, there's a third party. There's two choices between two lovers and you need to open up your heart to decide which one you are going to go to that next level with. The one in particular that you're asking about is very cold to you and wants that commitment with you. Um, maybe you're choosing between them and another person, okay? And so um, what will stabilize you is 
I don't know. For some of you, I feel like you you feel like you need to go to the next level because of conditioning and what you're supposed to do. So again, like the celebration, the marriage, the union, it's it's not of the mind. It's of the heart and it's of your own self. And so I feel like this week you just want to dive deeper into your knowingness and allow your heart to speak to you and tell you um you know tell you what what's best for you this week, okay? Yeah. So actually I'm going to pull a couple spiritual cards for you. Um Yeah, cuz it's just a week, so there's not like a major outcome. I feel like this week, you know, like you you have a decision to make to like this person's like uh, this read is really you're in this read you like look a little bit like ugh. Also some of you need to release someone to move forward with this person, okay? For others of you, this side, you, they need to release you in order to, like, not be waiting for you to make a decision, okay? So it's going to go either way, okay? For some of you, you need to release an ex to, to move to the next level. For some of you, you have a choice between, like, an ex or a person. You're not telling this person the full story, or yourself. I feel like there's a deception within yourself because you don't know. You're not tapping into what... You're not letting go and allowing what to happen to happen. Um, the decision will come to you in divine inspiration. It's not something that you have to do. It's, it's really shedding the illusion. And it is true. If you don't know what to do, don't do anything. Trust the timing. That's weird I said that. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So again, it does seem like you are taking a long time. This person's feeling cold. They want security. They want to go to another level. This week, you are going to move into your heart space. And what's on your mind is to have a union and move to the next level in this relationship. It's what is in the destiny for you and this person. Um, or it's changing the cycle. It might be the end of this person. It's, it's, it's definitely changing and moving, okay? But you need to move into your truth, okay? Um, let's get a couple more energies for this read. And this one went a lot longer than I was planning on doing because this is like a new like style. I just wrote down the questions to like read. I should write them on paper. And I really like it. Whoa, okay, so for some of you, this person's like a total, or you are, um, you're not in your heart space a lot. You really are detached. You're really good at being detached. Either that or this person has Aquarius energy in their chart. Um, they're, there's some kind of a genius teacher, um, expansive quality about you or your person through this read. Um, but I do feel like you're dealing with it's hard for you to move into your heart space, okay? Um, it's hard for you to take... I want to say, in a weird sort of way, the whole play very seriously. And in a sense, that's the deception. is because you're not... I feel like you're not taking the whole play very seriously. Like, I, maybe a part of you gets that it's kind of just the emperor, you know, with no clothes, and you're the only one that's like, hey, why are we doing this? The emperor has no clothes. You know, why are we pretending that he does? You know, like, maybe, like, so this person wants to go to another level. Um, they have feelings for you. And maybe because you're not moving into your heart space, you're, like, playing the emperor game, right? But you're not feeling it. You're detached from it. And so... <sighs> It's kind of cool because you're kind of seeing the whole thing as an illusion. It's just that you're not telling this person that you're seeing the whole thing in that way. You're not expressing um, that. This person might be a Pisces as well. Um, for some of you, this person, um, if you are this person, I would say, like, if you're resonating with this side, um, I would say... You are, you're having, you're going into this, these deep places. Um,
for some of you, you're dreaming up this whole scenario and it isn't, it is a little bit illusory. I'm not going to lie. There's just, there's just not a ton of heart there. There's a lot of pentacles, a lot of thinking. It's like you're drawing up, the lovers is for real, but it might just mean like you're lovers. You know what I'm saying? Like you are sexual together, right? Or this person's choosing between you and another person. I don't know. So there's a deception there. I feel like it's not as sort of, it's in, like this, you, I feel like this person, you know what you're doing, but you don't know why, because I don't think you can get in touch with your emotions. So you don't know why you're playing this game with this person. You feel like maybe you're supposed to. And this person's very young and naive and kind of doing it too and kind of dreamy, dreamy, right? So I'm water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm getting Pisces, Cancer. Um, Sagittarius is in here, Gemini. Um, okay, I'll do one more card just to get a final maybe message. I feel like you're more about the group and being single. This person's, I don't know, this person's in dreamland. Um, or if you're this person, you, you're, you're creating a dream and not seeing the reality. Okay, there's disconnect going on here and it needs to move to the next level. Um, you need to release this pattern and release the deception. Um, you know, somehow, Scorpio, I transform. There needs to be a transformation in all you guys. This side needs to move into their heart space. This side needs to see more clearly, see the truth, see the light. Okay? Um, very interesting read. Okay? I don't even really know... Um, I feel like Virgo, um, in general, like if you're on this side, you're going to work on your heart space opening up, okay, and really work on your emotions. I feel like you're going to be surprised because Spirit's going to come in and teach you a bit about that and teach you what that feels like and have you feel it. And I think you're going to really love it. But yeah, in your thinking land, you're, you're, you don't want to create more dreamy dream, okay, more, more karma, more illusion, okay, that's what kind of what's happening here. The truth is coming in and making the choice towards spirit. It might be coming in on this person. This person might start to figure it out. Um, it's okay that you're this way. I love your honest energy. And if you don't have that stronger feeling and you don't feel the the dream, if it's not, if you're not feeling it, just tell them. Like really tell them and express what's going on inside. You are allowed to be you. They're allowed to be them. You know, um, and all this needs to transform, okay? It's moving 20 to another cycle. There's a new cycle going, okay? You're kind of teaching them something here. And you're learning as well, all right? So um, I feel like water, this person's probably a water sign, but a lot of water, um, very healing for you at this time. All right, so so Virgo, I do get personal reads. If you would like one, they go, like I said, they go as low as 22. Um, it's in the description box. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate it. And if this wasn't your message, like, no sweat, okay? This was kind of an intense one, so, um, but I'm, <laughs> it is what it is, right? But it's, it's, it's lovely for, like, who, whatever collective needed to hear it, it's really beautiful. Um, a lot of people are in this place, and, like, I, I want to help you know, them open up their heart and other people to see the truth and, and move beyond the illusion and, and move into liberation and freedom, you know, and, and the, your authentic self, you know, and be able to express yourself completely and fully. So anyway, enough of that. I love you so much. Thanks for sitting this whole thing out. This whole, this is so long. So thank you.